Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the key things that I teach my clients in order to help them to level up and actually make changes in their life. The first thing that you need to realize is that in order to change your life, you really need to have a deep connection with your inner voice, with who you truly are authentically on the inside. What change is going to require is for you to have a deeper connection with yourself as well as a deeper connection to divine energy so that you can merge up with that energy, God, what have you, to make your intentions more powerful. The problem though is that most people, if they feel like they don't like their life, they either do one of two things. They go forth thinking that they know what they want and they set goals and find that they either don't achieve them or that they end up unfulfilled or they end up trying to change all of the things. You try to change your environment, your job, your children, your relationships, all of those things, thinking that by doing that, it's gonna change the way that you feel, it's gonna change your life, etc. And that can give you small shifts, but those are not the way that you make powerful shifts in your life. You make powerful shifts in your life by starting from the inside and changing who you are internally and then moving that energy from the inside out. That is the way the laws of the universe works. And until you do that, again, you're unable to connect to your inner voice and your divine energy, your intention, and match that up with the power of God in order to really create the things that you want to create in life. Oftentimes when I see people try to change the world from the outside in, so again, people, environment, circumstances, etc., what you will find is that you go through a lot of ups and downs in life when you base your life off of external clues, off of the things that you want to change that are outside of yourself. Because one, the only thing that you can control is yourself. And number two, life is constant. Life goes through ups and downs. That is a guarantee. So relationships go through ups and downs. Your connection with your children may go through ups and downs. Jobs and circumstances go through ups and downs. So whenever you tie your sense of self-worth or value or are trying to change your life and use your external life as the motivator for if you should change, if change is working, etc. What you are going to find is that you are going to be riding a wave of highs and lows based off of what you see in life. And unfortunately, as you are trying to create change in life, until you can get some consistency around change, and I'll talk about that in a minute, when you are high, that energy is low. When you are low, that energy is high. So they don't often match up perfectly as they should. And so it can be a little bit more discouraging for you to find that at the times where you are riding high and motivated, you don't see the changes that you want in life because life doesn't quite match up with you. Life lags a little bit behind your intentions, your actions, etc. The first thing that I work on with my clients is spending a lot of time, an obscene amount of time, connecting to their inner self and really knowing who they are currently and who they want to be in the future. This is not who they think they are. This is who they truly are, as well as examining who they think they want to be. Again, this will all evolve and this will all change. However, this is where you should start. I also recommend that you start to develop a sense of core values or a sense of personal values that line up with the person that you are now and the person that you may want to become because what is constant in all the ups and downs of all of the guaranteed changes that you have in your external life is that you get to control who you are. And if you can find some consistency and some core values, you are able to anchor and ground in those no matter what you do and no matter what is going on in the world around you. I teach them to do this via my systematic proven framework. However, you could do this for yourself just by, again, looking at what you really value, what is important to you morally and ethically, and sitting down and creating some core values for how you want your life to be, as well as maybe a vision of how you want your life to be moving forward. Until we are able to get concrete and clear on that, setting goals is not where you want to begin. If you are living your life for people, circumstances, or you have limiting beliefs, or you don't have a clear vision for where it is that you want to go, what you're going to find is that when you jump in 
to goal setting exclusively, you run into hurdles or blocks because you lack the clarity that you need to be able to move in the right direction and to adopt goals that are gonna move you in the right direction and therefore adopt habits that are value added towards your goals and towards your vision. When you reverse engineer that, you see how important it is to really know who you are. So when you reverse engineer that, it really paints a picture of how important it is to know who you are inside and where you want to go in the world. But after you do that, then you're ready to set goals. I was doing a recent interview in a Facebook group as a guest and I was having a conversation with one of the women that runs the group and I was talking about life purpose and in that I was stressing the importance of you having clarity about who you are and where you want to go in order to create goals and that if you don't do that you are just kind of moving forward aimlessly in life and yes you might be productive but you won't be efficient and you won't be as focused as you could be had you had a clear vision of yourself and a clear vision of where you want your direction, your journey, your outcome to be. And it was a light bulb moment for her because she thought that she created the goals and by creating the goals, she would get to where she wanted to be. And that's not entirely incorrect, but how many times have you found that you just sat down and you started to set goals because maybe you thought that's who you wanted to be. You thought that was the right thing to do or you see other people going after these goals and so they sound like something that you should adopt for yourself and in the end, you don't accomplish any of them. You don't feel connected to them. You don't feel motivated to them at all. Usually it's because you haven't taken the time to gain that clarity around, I'm gonna say it again, who are you? What are your core values? What do you stand for? And what is the vision that you see for your life going forward? This is the cool part. You've got in touch with who you are, not who everybody else says you should be. You've got in touch with your core values. So you are have a consistent anchor that's gonna keep you moving forward no matter what's happening in your life. You have a vision for yourself based on your core values, based on who you wanna be. And so it gives you a little bit more clarity on how you can imagine moving in that direction would be in your life. And now all you have to do is do some consistent auditing. This consistent auditing is going to help you to ensure that your activities, your behaviors, all of the things that you are doing in life are consistently tying back to habits, behaviors, attitudes, actions that move you closer to who you want to be and the vision that you have for yourself. This is important because when you start to do this, it will become second nature. You will be auditing yourself consistently so you can check and adjust and tweak and make sure that you're moving in the right direction. But until you're able to formulate habits and physiological changes that support your habit, you're gonna to have to audit a lot. But again, this is all gonna become second nature to you. The reason that I work with clients for 12 weeks at a time is because in order to truly solidify this process, meaning not only are you acting in accordance with what you've come up with, but you are also allowing time for physiological changes to happen in your brain via neurotransmitters and neurochemicals. The minimum time that all of this change happens for the average person is about three months. So my program is proven because I'm not just picking some uh, number out of thin air just because maybe I want to get your money or work with you for a long time. No, it's scientifically proven that for these processes to take place in order to start to make these things second nature for you and solidify these habits for you, it takes a minimum of three months for the average person and it can take up to six months as well. Three to six months is the sweet spot for most people. That doesn't mean that it needs to take three to six months. Remember I said for the average person. If you dive in deep and you are wholeheartedly 100% diving into the process that I created or diving into these tips that I'm giving you today, you can make change super fast in your life. A lot of my clients within the first week, within the first few days, they feel shifts. And then they start to notice that the things that they have envisioned for themselves start to happen within a week or so. 
They're starting to feel better. They're starting to think differently. They're starting to pull themselves out of negative energy faster. They even start to manifest some of the inklings of the bigger visions that they want for themselves, such as job opportunities, unexpected income, etc. Even happier relationships, like relationships just shift. But it all depends on how average you want to be. If you want to be average, three to six months. If you want to really step into your power and make change rapidly, then it depends on how rapidly and how consistently you implement the things that I am telling you or the things that I teach you in my private coaching program. But you must understand that you have to learn the difference between using power to get what you want and using force to get what you want. And if you are someone that is gung ho, but you find that you use a lot of force and you find that you meet a lot of resistance, it may be because you have not learned how to tap into power and how to actually create change through your power. And that's another thing that I teach you. But for those of you that are watching this video, just learn the difference between power and force and make sure that the things that you are doing to create the change come from a place of your own personal power. One thing that I will let you in on is that the reason why when I'm coaching clients, I use spiritual tools is because I feel like spiritual tools help my clients tap into their power more and the power of the divine more, which leads them to be less likely to try to force things to happen. The spiritual tools that I teach them through crystals, tarot, oracle cards, intuition exercises, journaling, scripting, all of those things are things that help them go back to their power in order to change their life in order to make things happen, in order to change their relationships, their jobs, their finances, all of those things. So again, this is why I work with my clients for a minimum of 12 weeks. Through these steps and these processes that I've just given you, these are the exact things that I work with my clients through. So you could do this, you could really do this for yourself if you really wanted to. It also, within that 12 weeks, starts to train you to learn the difference between when your heart and mind are not aligned and when your heart and your mind are aligned. Because when your intuition and your intellect are aligned, you're able to do powerful things in your life. Once they have their heart and their mind aligned and do all of these other things that I teach them, what they find, and if you adopt this, what you could find is that you start to live a life that is more in alignment with a purpose. And when you are aligned with a purpose, your actions, behavior, your attitude, all of that is aligned toward a bigger vision or goal for yourself you start to live in flow. And flow is where things become easier, they become clear, they become peaceful, they become less stressful, and you're able to connect and maintain that connection to your inner self and your intuition and the energy of God, the energy of the divine to help keep you in flow so that instead of life not matching up with your feelings and what you want out of life, you and life are riding a wave and moving in the same direction at the same time. One well-known tool that you can use is called the DILT's Logical Levels of Change. It's a model and it is very popular in the NLP community. And although my principles are not based on this logical levels of change. If you are familiar with self-help, what you will notice is that you can read a lot of different books or learn a lot about personal development and everybody is gonna have their different take on it, but at the end of the day, we're all kind of saying the same thing and moving in the same direction. And so if you want a clear model to help you to do some of the things that I'm talking about, I will look into Dilt's model, which is his logical levels of change pyramid. And what it will show you is that at the top there's vision and then it'll take you through different steps and different questions that you should ask yourself to make sure that everything that you are doing funnels up into your vision. How is your environment? What skills do you need to learn in order to meet your vision? Do you need to learn anything? Do you need to do anything? Do you need to tweak anything? Um, what are your behaviors, your attitudes, your actions? 
all of those things. And the way that I teach my clients to do that is through a system. Again, it's not really the DILT logical levels of change, but it is very closely um, aligned with that because that, again, I think there's a proven method to becoming successful no matter how you want to wrap it up in a little modality or bow. But at the end of the day, if your areas in life are all funneling up toward those visions, when you do your audits, you are going to find that you are tapping into your power and that your success, not only in one area of life, in all areas of life, and you being able to shift your identity to the person that you want to be, and then realize the changes that you want to see in your outer world are going to happen quickly for you. I've given you lots of information. You may have to go back, rewind, take notes because this is a step-by-step -step proven way that you can create change in your life starting from the inside out so that you can become a better version of yourself, the best version of yourself, work toward a vision, and in turn, see rapid changes in your outer world, in your relationships, your jobs, your finances, all of those things to align with what it is that you really envision for yourself or what it is that you really dream about for yourself. But if you find that this seems a little complicated or it makes you feel more confused or you just wish that you could have some help and accountability and a proven framework and structure that's going to take you step by step and pull you through all of these different things that I'm talking about, then you may be a perfect candidate to work with me in private coaching for 12 weeks. Some of the benefits of working with me in private coaching are that you are able to get rid of emotional baggage and thinking that stops you from moving forward toward that in which you want for yourself. You get to release things that are taken away your power. You get to let go of the limiting beliefs and the conditioning that you've picked up from your experiences, society, and your culture maybe that stops you from living the life of your dreams and you actually get to tap into your authentic self and create a vision and a goal for yourself without limits, which means that you get to get rid of all of that BS that's blocking your success. And through all of this, and also by incorporating that very important spiritual aspect that's gonna help you really tap in to your power, I also teach you to look for the signs. I teach you to hone in on the signs, the signs that come from the divine the signs that come from your intuition. They're always there, but for one reason or another, it's gonna be different for all of us. We block ourselves from seeing those signs, from hearing those signs, or from having the courage to actually follow those signs and guidance when they come forth. And because we prevent ourselves from tapping into those signs, we block our progress and we remain stuck. So I am accepting clients right now to work with me privately for 12 weeks. It is an application only experience because remember, I'm here to guide you. I have a proven system. It works for 100% of the people that pick up the tools that I'm giving them and use them and run with them. But I need to make sure that I can help you and I need to make sure that you like my style so that we can move forward and I'm able to support you in whatever it is that you wanna create for yourself. So if it sounds like something that you would be interested in, you need this in your life, you wanna get rid of limiting beliefs, you want to get rid of all the BS that is stopping you from moving into a more powerful place in your life where you are actually being the person that you want to be and experiencing the relationships, the financial success, the job, the career, all of those things that you want. And then you can go to yashikasintuition.com forward slash coaching to apply. Um, you will just fill out a short form and I will reach out to you if I feel that I'm able to help you and that we're aligned. We will get on a Zoom call. There is no fee for this. It's not a pick my brain. It's not me selling you anything. It's just seeing if we are a good match for each other. And if we are, we can get started right away so that you can start making the changes that you need to make in order to live the life that you wanna live. All right, I'll talk to you in the next video.